I want a birdie! Okay, and this one, here's a wee build that I've uh, been mucking about with. And uh, I'll just show you what that is, what the area of it is, and what's it for. This is something I've just been messing about with. This is a shunt resistor. Now, I've shown this concept before on the channel here, and it's in the form of our we famous ABS breadboard, where we have a 200 ohm resistor in there, and the LED is measuring the voltage drop across that resistor. So that resistor is 200 ohms, and that is perfect to light that wee LED, and that's powered off a 9 volt battery. And that's for testing, uh, if you haven't seen any of the vids, that's for testing uh, active ABS sensors uh, on the car. So independently of the, the wiring loom or the module or anything like that. So, but the concept is the same here as what we'll have here. So this, is, this has another use. So what we'll have, you can see three uh, resistors there and they're in parallel. So I'll maybe just explain why I've done that. Um, I could, I just did this with, with bits that I had lying about. But I'll maybe uh, make a couple of purchases uh, of uh, something a wee bit better. So one of these resistors here, I'll just pull one out. It's uh, quite beefy, as you can see. And uh, the reason for that is these are three watts rated. So it's all about the power. So if we, or the power that it can handle, so if we uh, measure that, it's 3.18 ohms on that. So 3.2 ohms on that one. Let me see. So all resistors have a tolerance, so you may get a slight discrepancy in them. There's 3.23 on that one there. So very little difference. So if I measure across these three in parallel, We'll have just over one ohm. So I'm looking for something with a very low resistance. So anyway, those three in parallel, the reason why I did that was, well, that was the only sort of high-ish wattage resistors that I had, apart from this one, which is 15 uh, ohms, and it's rated at 50 watts. If we can get that in the shot there. But that's far too high of a resistance for what I want to do here. So anyway, uh, if you want to work out resistors, resistance in parallel, it's uh, the reciprocal. So 1 over R equals 1 over, what would that be, 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3. So if you pop that into your calculator, here we go with the calculator. So... 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 equals 1. So, I'll tell you what we'll do. If you had, uh, say, a 5 ohm, oh, that's escaping, and a 10 ohm, just making these values up. So, what would your, your resistance be there? So, it's 1 over 5 plus 1 over 10 equals one over whatever the total is. So we'll pop that into the calculator again. And uh, so it's, you could do, if you haven't got a scientific calculator, this one divided by five equals that, plus one divided by 10 equals that. So that's point three. But you need to take the reciprocal of that. So it turns out at 3.33. So a 5 and a 10 in parallel equals 3.3 ohms. If I can keep you in focus for a minute. So there we go. That adds up to 1 ohm, which is what I wanted. Which is, well, it's just over 1 ohm. It's about 1.1 ohm. And, well, anyway, what 
is the use of a shunt resistor and why would you bother with this? Well, it's so that you can measure current with a voltmeter and if we have a very, very low resistance, I think probably this would be better maybe half an ohm for what I want to do with it. But uh, this is what I have and uh, until I get maybe more of these here, I'll maybe make up a proper, a proper box. So without further ado, what I'll do is, uh, yeah, we'll have a few test lamps here. So if we look at our, draw our attention to our power supply over there, uh, what we're gonna do is we can see, so it'll tell us the current here on that second meter down there. So that is giving us 200 milliamps at 12 volts. So that's great. This one here is just less than 100 milliamps, just show you it. Chain in there, there's it there. So that's just under 100. Uh, milliohms, uh, let me see, here's a real cheap and nasty one here, an eBay one, they're about two pound or something for that. And that's 220, 230 milliamps draw there. And uh, what have we got? I've got this other Dobby one that I think somebody gave me, it has a, a piercing thing in the end of it. So I'll give that a go. And that's somewhere in between. That's a uh, 150 milliamps. So hey, what's the use of all that? Well, as I said, if we put this in series in a circuit, uh, we can measure the volt drop across it, just like what we're doing in our wee ABS breadboard. If we can find it, yeah, just just the same concept, same idea, same principle. So what we're going to do then is we can change. I'm going to change this to volts and. We'll put a test light in circuit with this, and we'll see the the measurement in volts. Okay, I've changed that to, to reading volts there. And we have power going in to this wee resistor block, and we're measuring across the resistor. So that's that's the voltmeter across there. So you need to be you need to have that in circuit. And this is our, our test lamp. So if we touch on the end, we'll get just over 100 uh, millivolts there. So what use is this, you may ask? Well, this is for measuring very low current. So if you have very low current flowing in a circuit, uh, you, can, you can measure it with a voltmeter then. So why would you wanna do that uh, when you can, you know, you can use it, you can, there's a, a current measuring facility on this, current measuring facility up to 10 amps in most voltmeters. Well, a scope measures in volts. So if you put that in a circuit, you can measure your current. Now it's gonna measure in millivolts, but you just convert it to whatever your, your resistance values are. And uh, that is, that will show up on your scope in millivolts. So if you had a parasitic drain, for example, and there's a couple of uses for this, but if you had a parasitic draw and uh, you disconnect your, your lead, your battery lead, your battery negative, and put this in circuit, connect your scope across this, this box here and uh, put, it on, put it on your scope and let your scope run. And you can let your scope run for ages and uh, so it's a long-term parasitic drain. Now you can, of course, do that with an amp clamp and that saves you breaking the circuit. You might think, well, you wanna do that. That's far, that's far easier and all. Well, that's fine. Well, number one, these things will turn themselves off after a while. And number two is that it might measure very, very low current. So uh, yeah, it will measure it, but Maybe not, maybe not very accurately. Um, so 
There's another couple of uses for it. I'll just I'll just demonstrate that in a circuit in uh, in the car. But just before I do that, I should have mentioned there. These are three watt resistors, you know. So power equals VI. So uh, the three watts and the twelve multiplied by I. So I equals P over V. Okay. So the the current that you're drawing. Uh, the maximum current you want to put through, your, through these resistors is 3 divided by 12, which is 0.25 of an amp. So that's why I need to get a few. This is, this is 50 watts. So uh, even, even half that would probably do for most applications. So if you put any more than a quarter of an amp through these resistors, you'll smoke them. So here we have our test vehicle and it's sitting dormant and uh, it's going to sleep okay. So we're reading, if we can see that on the screen, that's 0 0.7, 0 0.08, 0 0.08, 0 0.07. Now it's flapping about a wee bit, just depending on the way I hold this. So very little current there flowing at the minute. So we'll put a slight load on and it's 0.58 of an amp, so it's probably half an amp plus the point naughty that was there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this circuit and I'm going to reconnect it again with these uh, with this patch lead. And so that's our negative terminal off. So we should be reading zero or near enough it. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to put that on my terminal like that. I'm going to reconnect it through that blue lead there. So you can see our current has jumped up to 1.4. So we need to let the car go to sleep again. So that's it down there to about 20 or 30 milliamps there. Okay. So we have our, our wee resistor box. Now it's not wired in just at the minute and the voltmeter is measuring across it. Uh, so what's happening is that we still have this blue jumper lead and that's going from the, the negative lead to the negative terminal. So the resistor box isn't doing anything at the minute because it's, it's basically shorted out. But, you know, so uh, we'll just have a look, see at our current that's flowing. And it's about 0.02 of an amp. So if we pull off our jump lead, then that means the connection is going through those resistors. So if we take that off, there's our current. And uh, it's pretty stable, and that's what we're measuring. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that wee bit of load back on again. Uh, well, actually, what I'll do is we'll see if we can get that on this. So, so there we go. So it's point not three five there, point not two five on the. So you have to keep zero on the the clamp meter because it just reads all over the place with uh, such low current flow. So what I'll do is I'll put a wee bit of load on, but it may be a wee bit too much for them resistors. I think I'll just change the scale there of, uh, of that. I'll stick it in the millivolts. There we go, 25 millivolts. So I'll put, I'll put the interior light on now for a wee second. So there we go, it's reading 556 millivolts. So what does that translate to in current here? And there we have 550 amps. So we'll just turn that off because those resistors will... Uh, it's a wee bit over there rating, but they're not warm.
Right, so there we go. Um, yeah, so the purpose of this is you can you can read that on a, on an oscilloscope because an oscilloscope reads in reads in voltage. So that's that's the, that's the the purpose of that. And uh, I'll maybe do another video showing and this uh, use for something else. So we'll put our jumper wire back on again. Our reading will go to zero, and we'll take off our resistor box. Just want that to stay on. Doesn't really matter. We're going to take it off anyway to put the the battery lead on. Let's see that off. So there we go. There's that wee thing in action. So another we want to, I forgot to show it earlier on there, is our LED type test light. So these are used because, you know, they don't draw any current at all, really. So if we put it on and light her up, we can see over here there is zip. But if we put it through our wee resistor box, we may actually get a reading. So the shunt resistor in circuit, in the circuit of this uh, LED test lamp here, or digital test lamp, We'll just hold her on there. We're getting six millivolts. So I'd say that's about six milliamps there that that is drawn, but still with all, we have nothing registered on our, it's, it's not enough to register on that meter there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it through the, uh, use this as a, an ammeter, see if we can, see if, see if it'll uh, register anything. Right, so set this up for amps internal and uh, going to stick her on there and there we go six milliamps that is sitting at one it's not zero one so that's uh about five milliamps so that's the same as what uh, our shunt resistor is telling us only it's telling us that low type of current in volts now we'll try and see my sv test lamp just for just for a laugh now we're getting 106 there and 92 there, so roughly about 100 milliamps on that wee test line, urgent lighting. So there we go. Uh, I'll maybe demonstrate, I'll maybe do, as I said before, I'll maybe do another video and demonstrate another sort of use of this wee thing. Uh, this is just a, a sort of work in progress there, but the idea is that you can uh, you can measure current, albeit in with a voltmeter, in volts, and you just convert it. So there you are. Uh, just a normal shunt resistor, uh, common, commonly in use. It's not a, a new invention by any means or anything like that. But uh, okay, hope maybe that gives you a wee bit of food for thought, a few ideas, a wee bit of inspiration. And many thanks for watching, and all the best, and bye bye.